Welcome to Ink Tutors. Um, we're going to be solving KCP 2019 questions, uh, both from 1 to question 50. Um, so if you stay along with us in this track, you get all the solutions. So the number one question says, um, what is 2,006,409 in numerals? Now to solve this question, the first thing you're going to do is says, what is 2 million? So represent 2 million. Okay. Then it says 6,000. Now you added, you should identify where 6,000 should be. That's 6,000. Then um, you now say, um, what is 400? Then you put your 400 and 9. 9. Then the next thing you do is you sum it up. That would be 9, 0, 4, you put your comma six zero zero comma and two so if we look at our option i think um, the correct answer here it's going to be um a a is our correct answer so that's two zero zero so if you put your comma here and you put your comma here so a is the correct answer so that'll take us to um question two okay Question 2 says, which one of the following statement is correct? Now, these are fractions and decimals. So you need to know which one is greater. So the first one says, um, is half less than 0 0.5. Mind you, half is the same thing as 0 0.5. So this one, it's wrong. Now the second one says, 3 over 5 is greater than 5 over 8. Now, we can only establish this by forming the LCM. So what is the LCM between 5 and 8? Yes, if you remember, it should be 40. Just multiply both of them. 40 divided by 5 will give us um, 8. 8 times 3 will give us 24. So let's put our greater than sign because we need to confirm which one will be greater. 40 divided by 8 is um, 5. 5 times 5 is 25. Okay? Is 25 greater than 20? Is 24 greater than 25? No. So that means 3 over 5 is the same thing as 24 over 40. And um, 5 over 8 is the same thing as 24 over, uh, 25 over 40. So at this point, this is greater than this. So this statement B is not correct. So B is not correct. Now 0 0.63 is less than 0 0.36. So that's not true because 0 0.36 is greater than. Then let's check the last one. 1 over 5 is greater than 1 over 10. Now let's compare again with our LCM 10. 10 into 5 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2 is greater than 10 into 10, 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Yes. So 1 over 5 is the same thing as 2 over 10, and 1 over 10 is still 1 over 10. And 2 over 10 is greater than 1 over 10. So the correct answer here is D. So D is the correct answer. Okay, so question 3 says, what is the difference between the total values of digits in thousands and hundred positions in the number? So um, we're going to write out the number first. The number says 7, 8, 9, 2, 4, Zero. Now, this is our units. This is tens. This is the hundred position. This is our thousand. And this is our ten of thousand. And this is our hundred thousand position. So, knowing all this, you can now say, okay. The difference between the thousand and the hundred, our thousand is nine thousand and our hundred is two hundred. Now we're going to subtract these two numbers to get our answer. Zero minus zero will give us zero. Zero minus zero will give us zero. You have nine here, nine into here, it's eight. You put one here, ten minus two is going to give us eight. You bring down your eight. So our final answer, it's um, B. B is the correct. Okay, question four says, what is the value of now this is um an equation and they want us to pre perform the value of this now what you're going to do in this type of question is to employ your board mass 
and remember the meaning of your board mass bracket of division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. So we are going to perform the one in the bracket first. Now, in the bracket, we have 49365 four, minus 9000 divided by 3 plus 1035. Okay, now because it says division must come first, so inside the bracket, we are going to perform this first. So 9,000 divided by 3 will give us 3,000. Okay, so we are going to have 49365 minus 3,000 plus 1035. Now, remember, your board mass thesis is uh, minus, this will be 1250 times 4. Now, remember, um, it still says do um, addition first before subtraction. So here we're going to do 49365 plus 1035. Okay? So we're going to add first before we subtract. 5 plus 5 is 0, carry 1. 6 plus 3 is 9 plus 1, 10, 0. You carry 1 again. 3 plus 1 will give us 4. 9 plus 1 is 0, we carry 1, and this will give us 5. So, then, when we subtract um, 3,000 from it, it's going to be 0 minus 0 is 0, 4 minus 0 minus 0 is 0, 4 minus 0 is 4, um, 50 minus 3 is going to give us 47. So, this equation is going to give us 47400 four, zero, four, zero, zero, minus 125 times 4. Now, we're going to perform this. 1250 times 4. 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times 5 is 20. 0 carry 2. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 2. That's 10. 0 carry 1. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5. So this is going to be 4740. 0 minus 5,000. So when you subtract it, 47,400 subtract 5,000. So this is going to give us 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. 4 minus 0 is 4. 7 minus 5 is um, 2. Then 4 minus nothing is 4. So our final answer is 42. 400. So for you to get this type of question, you must follow the board mass rule. So once you apply the board mass rule, okay, question 5 says a farmer has 280 chicken. He sold 5 over 7 of the chicken on the first day and then sold 1 over 5 of the remainder the following day. How many chicken were sold? Now, total chicken was um, 280. So if he sold sales on first day, on first day, now, he sold um, 5 over 7 of 280. Now, you know, when you have 5 off, it means it's 5 over 7 multiplied by 280. Now, 7 here is 1, but you cancel. Then 7 into 280. 7 into 28 is 4. 7 is 0 is 0. 5 times 40 will give you 200. That means what he sold on the first day is actually 200 chicken. Then the question says, he sold 5 over 7 of the chicken on the first day. That's he sold 200. And then sold 1 over 5 of the remainder. So we need to get the remainder. So if he sold, if he went to the market with 280 chicken and he sold 200, then the remainder will be 280 minus 200. That will give us 80. So second day sales, he sold 1 over 5 times 80. That's 5 year 1. 5 into 80 will be... Um, 5 into 8 is 1, remainder 3, 5 into 30 is 6. So, that means second day sales was uh, his 16, okay? Then, how many chicken were sold? Now, remember, he had, um, he had, the first day, 80 was remaining. On the second day, he sold 16. So, remainder, 80 minus his second sales, that's 16. That means on the second day, um, the total remainder was 80 minus 16 is now 64 chicken. 
This is 64 chicken left. So how many chickens were sold? So it means this man had a total of uh, 280 chicken. Then now he's coming back after the second day, he has 64 chicken. So for us to know the total number of chicken sold, it's going to be this minus this, that's, um, we'll have um, 7 here, put 10, 10 minus 4 is going to give us 6, 7 minus 6 is, will give us 1, and we bring down our 2. So the total number of chicken remaining, chicken remaining, will be 216. A second way to solve this is, once you've gotten the total number of chickens sold on the first day, which is 200, then the second sales is 16. You sum it up, you get 216. So whichever way you decide to solve it, you're going to get the total number of chickens sold, and that's uh, 216. Okay? So the next question, um, that's question 6, it says, what, which is the next number in the pattern? Now, we'll study the pattern. This is 1. Now, the difference between 1 and 3 is plus 2. Okay? Comma. Now, the next one is 9. The difference between 9 is 6. Okay? Now, if you look at this, um, okay, let's do the next one so we can see if we can get the pattern. 27. The difference between uh, 27 and 9, it's um, 18. Okay, now notice something. This number doubles itself. 1 plus 1 is 2. 3 plus 3 is 6. 9 plus 9 is 18. That means the next one will be 27 plus... 27 plus 27 will give us... Um, um, that's um, 54. So 54 plus 27 will give us 81. So now we have identified that the number must double itself and add to its original self. 81 plus 81 is going to give us... Um, that's 81 plus 81 will give us... This is 2, 8 plus 8 is 16. So this is plus 162. So when we sum 162 plus 18, uh, 81, that should give us our final answer. 2 plus 1 is 3. 6 plus 8 is 4 plus 1. 1 plus 1 will give us 2. So our final answer will be 243. So 243 is the correct answer. So this is the correct answer. So that takes us to question um, 7. Question 7 says, a trader bought 2,179 eight bags of maize in the first week. Now, let's represent as we, first week, he bought 21798. Now, he says in the second week, he bought 2,476 bags less than what he bought in the first week. That means his second week purchase was lesser than his first week, which means he bought 21798 minus... 2476. Okay, now let's perform this. This is 21798 minus 2476. So this is going to know the actual number of bags. 8 minus 6 is 2. 9 minus 7 is 2. Um, 7 minus 4 will give us 3. We have um, 21 minus 2. That's eh, 19. So in the second week, he bought 19, 3, 2, 2. Okay, he says in the third week he bought 542 box bags more than he bought in the first week. That means in the third week he bought more. So which is 21798 plus 542. Okay, so that means um, he bought them 21798 plus 542. So we sum it up so we can know 8 plus 2 is 0, carry 1. This is 10 plus 4, 4, 14, 4, you carry 1. 7 plus 5 is 12, plus 1, 13, 3, you carry 1, that's 2, then 2. So that means he bought 22,000, he bought 22,340. Okay, so he says, how many bags of maize did he buy all together? So to get the total number of bags he bought together, we're going to sum it up, 21798. Plus one nine three two two plus two two three four zero. So if we sum it up, we're going to get his total bags. Eight plus two is ten plus zero is ten. Zero you carry one. One plus nine is ten. Ten plus two is um, twelve. Twelve plus four is sixteen. You put six, you carry one. One plus seven is eight. Eight plus three is eleven. 11 plus 3 
it's 14. You put 4 and you carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 9 is 11. 11 plus 2 is 13. You put your 3 and you carry 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. Or 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. So when you sum the total bags, total bags bought will be 6, 3, 4, 60. So our correct answer here is B. B is the correct answer. So if you follow it judiciously, you're going to get your answer.